Oh, for those of you wondering about mesh, I went from I was vaping on the beast, but got tired of paying for the ridiculous high price of coils. I was running a sweeter juice and it was caramelizing and I was going through them too quick and 17 to 18 bucks for three of them kind of starts to add up plus the premium juice so I went I started thinking okay well go to drip whenever I saw the mesh because I had always tried to do the building on this and it just never really worked out for me it always leaked or didn't taste right I just couldn't quite get the full hit that I would get with the pre-made coils but I got they I saw this mesh and I'm like well that looks fairly easy and got well focus now it's the uh, yep now I uh, pros and cons of it so far it's easy to wick and if I end up gunking it up I can easily just change out the cotton uh, and it's cotton's cheap but then I'll, if you see there's not much of a reservoir there for it to collect so it's sitting on there like so and a little bit deeper in it'll just pour out the vent and come down here and after like three or four hits I've got to reload and I uh, I huff and puff on this thing constantly over and over but right now I ended up I've had this and I tried to some different vo different vapes at the store but ended up it gunked up my cotton doesn't look too bad but it just wouldn't absorb anymore I'd sit there and it would just I put a bunch on there and it just wouldn't absorb into the cotton and so eh I think it's time to change it out which is cheap but as you can see that's a lot of cotton about a half a stick or not even not all half a stick but majority of it I use the uh cotton bacon I love how on the back it says see if I can get this in here not actual bacon do not ingest <laughs> not actual bacon okay focus there it is not actual bacon <laughs> but you know it's been doing fairly good but now time to cha change it up so alright just get her hot already kind of flicked off the stuff earlier but uh, thought I would do this on camera and so anybody wondering about mesh just unscrew that right here pop one side up okay uh, find what I did with my there it is now this is going to be overkill, but I mean I've been just kind of cutting a piece in half almost and then I'll sit here and kind of, I already had it on there once, that's what that dark stuff is. I just took it off so I could show. Gotta make sure I don't get it on that bottom. Whoop, I did.
Okay. And then this is not the conventional way of doing it. It's not the way they're, you know, supposed to, but as long as you make sure, push it down good and firm so that you know it's going to be making a connection out the bottom there. And you don't want to tighten it too tight. Just enough to where it's snug. You're supposed to keep this, you know, keep them both screwed in so you know you got you know good fire on both sides and all around but I guess call me too lazy but ah, that's falling apart yeah, the uh, screwdriver they give you is this itty bitty little thing uh, I mean it's okay to get in there and whatnot but it's just damn an itty bitty but it is good for one thing I was told I watched other, this other video of a guy loading this okay having all this out here now it's good to tease this kind of make sure you fluff it on both sides there okay it's basically just kind of knotting it up in there and then kind of flatten this out Another trick he showed was, you notice I've got all this excess everywhere. Yeah, it's a bit of an overkill, but you'll see why right here in a second. I've got all the excess. I, you can always take away but you can't add. Well, I guess you could, but I don't think it'd work as well. well I could be wrong. Just making sure that the camera is still on it. You know what, some? It's gonna take a lot of this juice to do this. Okay, get a little bit of a wobble there. It's just in the match. Well, the also one of the tricks he showed make sure not to get hot spots. You know, anywhere it'll just end up you get that dry hit. Everybody the vapes knows about that dry hit that oh god, it's horrible. So to make sure you don't get that, and also I found that this helps keep the cotton from getting black because the dry spots actually create a black and then you'll get more burnt taste, and it's just this helps just uh with keeping it better longer. Basically, just tucking it in there, shoving it in, so that there's cotton touching. Whoop! Sorry, my friend. So that there's cotton touching every bit of this. There's no big, you know, huge gap right between down here. So just make sure to pack it, but don't pack it too, too tight because it, it's not. I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of learned just it doesn't absorb as much, and you tend to just, it can't get as much fluid. And whenever you're three, four hits into it, you want to try to get as much as possible without getting that dry. And then now, Also, one of the tricks he 
so make sure not to get hot spots you know an area where it'll just end up you get that dry hit everybody that vapes knows about that dry hit that oh god it's horrible so to make sure you don't get that and also I, I found that this helps keep the cotton from getting black because those dry spots actually create a black and then you'll get more burnt taste and it's just this helps just uh, with keeping it better longer basically just tucking it in there shoving it in so that there's cotton touching whoop sorry went out of frame so that there's cotton touching every bit of this there's no big you know huge gap right in between down here so let's make sure to pack it but don't pack it too too tight because it, it's not it I don't know <laughs> I just kind of learned just it doesn't absorb as much and you tend to just, it can't get as much fluid and whenever you're three four hits into it you want to try to get as much as possible without getting that dry. And then now. Pretty shitty scissors, so turn off this stuff. And I don't know if I said or not, but I'm still learning myself. This is my first drip. This is my first, you know, I went from the beast to this, so this is still all new to me. Make sure to, I'm making sure to pack it in the bottom. Now one thing I have noticed, which you gotta kind of watch having so much excess, try, I try to put as much cotton as I can so that I can get as much fluid in there, I'll have to keep reloading. Uh, whenever it's, there's so much on the side and then you want to put cap on there, it's hitting the, uh, the cotton's touching this and it makes it very hot. So it's kind of a toss up. Boy, just shitty, shitty scissors. You want to make sure to keep this area pretty much open air for your airflow. But I tend to bring it up like this. Now here comes a good tricky part. Okay, you can see how I got all like that? Yeah, that's ugly. But for right now, I'll show you why I'm doing this in a second. Okay, I want to just kind of airflow to screw there. Got it all over my hands. Okay, so the cover's on. And so now I'm, you know, you could trim up the cotton to where it's not doing this. As long as you're in a cool area, it's not too bad. You're not like hot boxing it. But it does shrink after few hits here and there but see the one thing I just thought to tell you is I can go and be doing all this right now get all set up go to fire and it's not gonna work I'll have to restart it's kind of a roll the dice whenever you do it this way but make sure I got a little more juice in there 
it's pretty wet, but being the first fire, I'm gonna turn down. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. And looks like I'm gonna be doing good. Let's see if I can I'll get. Oh shit! I got shit popping everywhere. Know, where did I set down that top? Oh, uh, where's it at? <laughs> There's so much shit in here. There it is. It's bandana. And making sure you got your single. Let me split that out real quick. You have, you know, you can have both wide open for one. No, son of a biscuit. All right. And see, and this will also help smash the cotton down. Now, the tip it came with, uh, I misplaced that somewhere, but this, there's another one. You see, there's not much there, and you got your lips all over this, and no, no thank you. Too damn close. Well, hang on a second. I got all the juice on my hands. I gotta. It's all slippery. It's not working. Come on. It does do a tight fit. Well, that's fun. Hang on, give me a second. There we go. I'm getting now. But. Now I've got it all. I had got a drip tip for the beast, and I just. Because even though the mesh that you get, you know, comes in this, you have to trim it back, but then that means less cotton less juice and you still get spatters. I had a big old blister on my lip from it popping in my uh, up on my lip the other a while back. You can see I trim it down but it still pops like a mofo. See? You load it too much and it does all that. So, but you can get that smaller, that thinner little tip on there, it pops in anymore. I'll put that on there. And once in a while, if you put too much, you gotta burn it off a little bit. But now, try to wipe, try to wipe some of that stuff off. I usually run my own around 75. And let's see here. I'll try to see if I can show you the hit. If not, that's the end of this video. I've never done one of these videos before. Huh. Alright, do me a favor. Don't hit like, whatever. I don't give a shit about all that. I just hope I help somebody. And, yes, I've been watching the old show Dinosaurs. Remember that show? If you're in your 30s and whatnot, that, it's a memory throwback. Huh. Alright. Well, here's my ugly mug. Um, got it all built up. Did the camera swap thing. But here's the hit. Puts out a cloud. Um, I've already hit it like two or three times. I'm trying to kind of calm it down. It got pretty warm. But I've got a fan going over here and AC blowing on it, but shit, that's hot. Wish I had a thermometer deal to show. But anyway, that's this little bastard. Well, that's it. Okay, just just a little extra add-on. Well, I've been trying to figure out how to edit the videos. I've been puffing on it for a little while. And this is what it looks like after you know like maybe 30 minutes or so. Uh, so I can get the light on here just right. I've noticed that 
Okay, the blackness is from the mesh being used several times before. This is like third uh, re-wicking of cotton with that mesh. Uh, the outside here, after vaping on it for just a little while, uh, it's not getting really hot anymore. Uh, it's still the same temperature in here. Yeah, I've got the fan, but as long as I, you know, I'm not outside where it's, you know, 80 degrees out, it stays fairly cool. And that looks ugly right there, but like I said, I didn't really clean it too well. It's just, all I did was just heat it up, scrape off the stuff, but it still hits really good. Um, I had all that cotton in there, and now you can see that it uh it's fitting for pretty well all right do me a favor don't hit like whatever i don't give a shit about all that i just hope i help somebody